Hey guys, welcome here, welcome to my channel. So today's video, Prime Minister Modi hugging Putin. Okay, so Jason Carr is such a great politician because I watched some of his videos and he's really, really great at replying comments, at replying interviewers and how he's just answering them and he's such a tough, strong and at the same time smart man and I just like how he's doing this. Minister Nick Beek from BBC News. You talked about Prime Minister Modi's visit to Moscow last month, and a lot of people here were very upset to see that embrace between the two leaders. Also, they were quite upset to see India overtake China in terms of the biggest importer of Russian crude oil. And also, they say they're disappointed that there hasn't been an explicit condemnation of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. So, in light of that, I'm just wondering whether you had difficulty today persuading President Zelensky that India is not favouring Russia, but is indeed pursuing a policy of non-alignment. And secondly, because of that meeting in Russia last month, I think Prime Minister Modi is probably the most significant, influential world leader to have spoken mm -hmm. to both sides recently. What personal role could he play in some sort of pursuit of yeah, peace. Right. Regarding uh, your question, you know, in our part of the world, when people meet people, they are given to embracing each other. It mm. may not be part of your culture, but I assure you it's mm. part of ours. Uh, nice. So, in fact, today, I think I saw the Prime Minister also embrace President Zelensky, and I've seen him do it with a number of other leaders in a number of other places. Uh, so, I think perhaps we have a uh, slightly cultural uh, uh, a gap here in terms of mm. uh, what uh, these Maybe courtesies mean. Uh, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, what you asked about the oil issue, look, uh, you know, India is a big oil consumer. It's a big oil importer because we don't have oil. Now, it's not like there's a political strategy to buy oil. There is a oil strategy to buy oil. Mm -hmm. There's a market strategy to buy oil. So uh, the figures of where we get our oil imports go up and down. It depends on the state of the market. But mm. it would definitely, I think the fact that the market is tight, that today big suppliers like Iran and Venezuela, who used to supply in India, uh, are, uh, uh, are constrained uh, from operating freely in the markets, I think is a factor which which needs to be taken into account. Uh, regarding, uh, you know, the conversation uh, between the Prime Minister and President Zelensky, I think it was a perfectly convivial conversation. I think it was very constructive. I think there was a lot that we said, which he heard with a great deal of attention. Uh, he knows that uh, we mean uh, well by Ukraine. Uh, he knows that you know, we are uh, today, uh, uh, you know, very, very keen that this conflict should come to an end. And essentially what the message from our side uh, uh, to him, which, you know, which surely would have not come as a surprise to him, is that, you know, if there is anything that we can do in any way, uh, you know, um, in sort of uh, uh, up front or behind or supporting somebody, you know, uh, it's it's the uh, objective that we are interested in uh, rather than the process. We are willing to do whatever we can because we do think that the continuation of this conflict is is uh, terrible for obviously for Ukraine itself and for the world as well. Uh, so it's not the part of our politics, but it's a part of the market. And he said, like, we were buying oil from two other countries, but it's not possible completely now. So we just have to do something with it. And Russia is a yeah, great exporter of oil. And yeah, I think he's just smart. He's just thinking smartly like, okay, uh, we should buy oil, oil from Russia then if we don't have it in our country. And Russia is like close and yeah, if Russia is giving it, if Russia is selling it, so why not? Uh, if anything we can do to Zelensky in Ukraine, we will do it because we want this conflict to be over, we want to end this conflict because it is bad for Ukraine, it is bad for all of the world. It's really affecting bad everyone, I think, like all the countries. Even you say who is like against it, 
Okay, I will just say it shortly. Like, um, without anything like who's right, who's wrong, I'll just say it, it's affecting everyone. Uh, USA just giving a lot of money to Ukraine and it affects people of USA because um, it is like given from their money from their bills and everything and i'm sure they're not happy about it uh also it's affecting russia and russian people uh like in ukraine obviously all of our people are affected by it badly but also the rest of the world is affected and yeah i think india is also waiting for this conflict to end and i think it will support the end of the conflict as much as it can so yeah, he's absolutely right <laughs> about everything. And I just want to read some comments. Oh, yeah. Um, I enjoy listening to Minister Jason Carr. He is a very able diplomat. Greetings from Ireland. He is a really well spoken, uh, intelligent, and yeah, he's really like this. <laughs> oh, what an admirable diplomat, Minister of Foreign Affairs. Yeah, Foreign Affairs, not external. Okay similar uh, as a dutchman i'm jealous of such excellence in high places <laughs> uh thank you guys for watching this video i hope you agree with me if not then yeah you can just express your opinion in the comments because i'm open to all the opinions uh here are welcomed you can like um think whatever you want and express it I'm open. So thank you guys for watching this video again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave a comment and we can discuss this topic a little bit and see you later. Bye.